I was uh, trying to see whether the Awaj Ari can Ari. So I'm I'm glad to see you after a long time. Actually, after you know, after a long time we are talking. So uh, today is uh, September 24th, and uh, you are in Canada. Where are you in Canada? Uh, right now I'm in Halifax, Nova Scotia. That's right. Uh, you arrived in Canada yesterday, two days ago? Yeah, yeah, I arrived yesterday. Did you sleep in the night and night? Are you looking very fresh? Yeah, I'm, I'm fresh because uh, I have already completed all the documentation work um, and people here are very cooperative. Uh, it was very fast. I was able to do because of the fast system over here. That's the only reason I'm looking fresh. Pavneet, you see the see the Kamal karta. Menu yaad hai ke today husband da mera contact hua isi pichle saal. I think in the May of 2020. Right. Maybe a summer of 2020. And right. it has taken close to one and a half years plus. Ke be ta da jira admission ho ke fir study visa ho kara aage to see aage. But you know it uh, it has been a long dream long. Uh, pending dream to come to Canada with your family, of course, uh, you know, because I think you you had suggested and your husband has suggested so yes. that's, that's why we didn't do that for the whole family. Uh, but my philosophy has been to always do it with the come with the family. You are uh, alone here. Of course, you are very capable to see Sarah Kush. Would be, you know, a different story. I, I would not have been, you know, uh, able to do the things which I was able to do it today. It would not have been possible because I have to take care of them also. Uh, they oh, became all... dependent. Yeah. They became, you know, if then it becomes really difficult for me to, you know, handle it. It's much easier if I'm without them. Yeah, of course, I'm missing my family. It's not the case, but yes. Uh, so uh, you you now now the flights are opened uh, from Delhi to Toronto. I think direct flights are coming in today, September 24th. And I'm, I think pretty much in, in the next couple of days, the flights are opening up. But you came through an indirect uh, route still. You came through a different country. I came through, I came via Ukraine and then I landed to Halifax. Okay. And uh, was there any problem in getting the Ukraine visa and staying there? Mm, earlier, I got rejected. I had a plan to travel on 11th of September, but unfortunately, my visa got rejected. I reapplied and then I came on, uh, I reached 23rd September over here in Halifax, in Canada. Why did why did Ukraine reject a visa? Ukraine is a uh, is pretty much uh, uh, you know not, Indian Indian people. Yeah, they were not you know clear about the purpose of my travel, so that's why they rejected it. Okay, okay. So Ukraine to see Rayo, one day, one day, two days, Rayo. Spend two days over there. Then your test was the test. Test was there, my, and then uh, test. Report was fine, found no infections. Yeah. Okay. And uh, and right now, are, are you made to quarantine in Canada for 14 days or no? No, I am not uh, required because I'm fully vaccinated. I have two tests basically from my home country and from my third country to which yeah. I have traveled. So due to that, I was uh, not required to quarantine. But yes, I have uh, already made some arrangements so that in case of any, you know, uh, future uh, problem, so that I have a place to stay. That's being issued by Nova Scotia government only. So I had requested them to provide the details of the same. Yeah. Uh, you are a mature uh, candidate student who, uh, 30 plus student who applied for study visa. Was there any difficulty by the, uh, you know, at the at the airport exchange uh, where they must have asked you questions? They welcomed you to Canada at the airport immigration. Yeah, they asked for port of entry document and okay. they asked for 
my passport, of course. And then they took my some of the documents related to my course. And uh, that's it. They didn't ask me much questions over there. Only few questions were asked. I think that the port of entry letter was probably last 10 days or 14 days. Do you remember that? I think through WhatsApp. Right. Yeah. Right. So that, that is a very important letter. Though. Uh, they, they asked you. Yeah. And then uh, from, you came through Toronto and then you went to Halifax, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. And then from you came through Toronto and then you went to Halifax, I guess. I directly landed to Halifax. Did you fly to Halifax directly to Europe? I took Luf, uh, Condor, Condor flight. That's Luf panda's uh, right. flight yeah. 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 Okay. 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 frankfurt then frankfurt to uh, halifax directly yeah. 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 study visa mil gaya un 2 saal da permit 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 issue attend kita ho mere ko study visa jo mila hai for till 31st december 2023 more than of 2 years ji 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 wow wow you you had you had a you had a good life in delhi you are from uh, i think uh, geeta colony right delhi right I, I, from I, and i still remember yeah. from from the uh, uh, ito the us taraf matlab through through uh, shakarpur so uh, you you had a good uh, job and uh, good uh, education and good job in delhi and uh, and what was your reason of leaving all that and coming to canada and uh, now you are in canada how how are you how are you feeling i mean this was your lifelong dream to come to canada how how what are you experiencing okay so um, the main reason which i have is my child uh, my daughter i want to you know give her the best in her life so that's the main reason i want to you know change the culture i will not say because it's my home country it's my birthplace i will not say anything about my birthplace but yes definitely some things are lagging over there some, some systems are very you know slow due to that i wanted to change there are many things which are required over there but in canada they are very fast smooth people are respected our jobs are respected our work is respected so that's the main reason i wanted to change i no. was working for no. 11 years but i was not enjoying my work so this is the another reason ji uh, colleagues uh, they know that you are in canada now they must be feeling ke bhai udhar chali gayi now it's my turn or whatever definitely many of the uh, my colleagues i know that uh, they also know that i have gone uh, via study visa and uh, some some are thinking that it's not a good step at this point of time at this kind of age and uh, uh, some something that it's a very good decision you have made this decision at very right point so yeah. yes definitely many are interested you know following the same path and yeah. yes it is a very courageous step which was taken at this point of time in my life yeah you you are in halifax and uh, do you see a lot of uh, minorities like uh, not canadians like people from other countries like indian and pakistani bangladeshi and other people in in your city uh, already did you notice or not much no uh, this country has a lot of uh, immigrants i have seen chinese i have seen uh, uh, afghanistan afghanistan people i have seen bangladeshi i have seen many people i have met even today while i was having i am staying in a very small hotel but still i found two girls uh, who belong to afghanistan so i had to chat with them also so yes they have came came here as a refugee they came as a refugee okay uh you know i think i, I had uh, i had some uh, clients also uh, uh who came to halifax and uh, they know who i'm talking about and i i think in times to come halifax the fabric of society will also change because traditionally in the last uh, 10 years or so not many people came to halifax uh, many indian and south asian people like to go to vancouver or toronto area but since people like you and others in, in that 
in that uh, footsteps. They are going to Maritimes, you know, uh, Halifax and uh, New Brunswick, uh, Prince Edward Island. I think this will change the the the, the, the general makeup of the society in times to come. So uh, you are you are you are forming that pattern. Uh, you know, you are one of those uh, who are who are constituting that pattern. Uh, so uh, that's that's good. That's that's good. How's your uh, uh, how's your uh, daughter coping up? You you you're talking to her and she's, she's missing and she wants to come soon. Currently missing me and uh, we are encouraging her day by day that uh, now back. Counting has started. You will be here in Canada with us one day. So this is how we can, you know, mold them because she's very uh, less in age. So that's how I can, you know, cope up with that. Because yeah. if I will get weak, she will definitely get weak. Yeah. Uh, have you visited your university campus already? No, but yes, I will definitely in few days. In, in few days. And you, you are going to what? Cape Breton University, CBU? Right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I uh, wish you luck. And what what was your course? I forgot the course that you are you will be studying. My course is a post baccalaureate diploma in supply chain management. In supply chain management. And we had to change the course. I think last time there was a different course, and you probably thought that not that course, not that course. Maybe you should do this course. And can you can you just uh, repeat uh, what what did you st uh, study? uh in in india uh, and before you took this course actually my whole background is related to finance it was too much of finance accounting commerce uh, and i did my graduation as a bcom i did my in my graduation i did bcom and then after that i did mba in finance and it was being 11 years i was into finance financial planning and analysis equity research everything and yeah. now now, um, if I was, you know, given a chance by God that you have to study now, so I wanted to change my line and I wanted to grab, you know, very innovative and growing uh, industry. So that's, you know, supply chain management these days. So, so that's why I have chosen this so that, you know, so that I can do something new. Yeah. It is it is a it is a bizarre uh, uh, fact of uh, you know coincidence. Sometimes the visa officers uh, they look at relevance. For example, if you have studied finance or if you are working in finance, and whatever you want to study in Canada, they look at how is it relevant to your existing education and background. In your case, there's not much, but in other cases when there is even a relevance. For example, a teacher, a teacher who's a B. Ed. and M. Ed. Uh, in India, who still wants to do a teaching education in Canada, sometimes they will say, no, it's too much. You already have done already. What is the point of studying more? So in some cases, uh, they they clearly don't see a relevance. Uh, in your case, even though there's not much relevance, but they still approve your visa. And sometimes it is baffling to visa consultants. I mean, how do they make the decision? Uh, these right. decisions have not much of a consistency. Uh, but as I always say, uh, at the end of the game is uh, some people don't agree with me, but uh, you know, I, at, the, at the end of uh, at the end of the cycle, I still feel that visa lagna hai na, another visa koi rok nahi sakda, unna lagi hai na, kisse kisse baane, janada kisse kisse tarikhe na koi ranga pehna the, wo us tarah unada uh, knowingly or unknowingly, koi na koi cheez unnu nazar aldi ke bhi hai you are not relevant. Sometimes they will say, look, you don't have funds, but ki funds the baal sare hunde hai, political funds nahi hai, or you don't have ties to the country or whatever. You know, and these are pretty much pain. But in your case, uh, you know, what is the? And I know, I think I discussed with you earlier as, as well. Ki bhi finance, uh, MBA finance, pordande baad logistics supply karanda, koi uh, khas Upon relevance, the banana de Kushna Kuch Shoka Sade, but in another relevance, nay, uh, K, Jenaik, let's say Kuyagar, uh, you know, Jenna Bcom Kita, Bcom Yakui, Hokui, maybe export management or something, Karne, trading, Vojari, transportation Karne, or only the supply logistics one Sada, but what was the connection in you? It has, it is still beyond my company. It is like we don't know who, who made this universe, we can still speculate in Thai Akabe. You know what factors actually go into the visa approval? 
it is it is a very gray area you know this not black and white you know you just have to go by your gut ke bhi ye ye visa ho jana hai nahi but anyway hey you are here it's your time to enjoy and uh, uh, you know after you graduate uh, you you will uh, eventually you eventually get uh, pr through the work permit uh, you know that you get and maybe a no special nomination program or at the least canadian experience class and, and, and that's that's all you go uh, one of the other one of the other what the funny and contradictory things that i always say on my videos uh, sometimes and people laugh about it and i i, I bet i bet they, it is apparent but you know many people think that it's not important to highlight is to see they could be india to all over the world actually not only india a lot of students are coming here uh, right. you, know, you know close to close to 190 190 or close to 200000 do lakh student every mm-hmm. year are coming to canada from india only all right and uh, student visa is a temporary visa with a temporary intention ki bhi tu si padho padhan de baad tu si you know jo karna hai karo and you you must show ties to your country ki bhi tu si agge wapas aana hai tu si wapas aa jao this is a this is a common yes. fact agar agar student visa applicant agar apni application se likh de ki bhi main te padhai karan ja rahi hai main kade wapas nahi aagi te ohna nu visa nahi mil sakda jo bhi right क्योंकि ये ये मतलब क्लियर क्लियर है कि भी एक तरफ तो है कि स्टूडेंट ने पढ़ाई करनी है तो इंटेंशन शो करनी है कि वापस आओ उस करके तरह तरह के कोई एस ओ पी लिखते हैं कि भाई आई विल कम एंड सर्व माई मदर लैंड आई विल गैट अ बिग जॉब आई डेंट स्टडी दिस अब ला आई विल गैट अ हाई प्रमोशन इस तरह के ड्रामा कहानियाँ लिखते हैं बहुत सारे नॉट मी बट अफकोर्स आई सी दिस ऑल द टाइम ऑन द अदर हैंड ऑन द अदर हैंड द कनेडियन गवर्नमेंट एक्सपेक्ट्स यू you students to actually complete your program get the work permit get the experience and then qualify for immigration so at the at one point uh the of this our entire life cycle of application study visa tusi kita delhi wale can delhi wale kende ke nahi ji bhai ye ye mud ke nahi aayegi student nu visa na deo you know kai baar tusi dekhde ho ke bhai you will never come by right dusri taraf jab tusi canada aa gaye ose ਉਸੇ ਡਿਪਾਰਟਮੈਂਟ ਦਾ ਦੂਸਰਾ ਅਫਸਰ ਕਹਿੰਦਾ ਕਿ ਨਹੀਂ ਯੂ ਸਟੇ ਹੀਅਰ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਦ ਵਰਕ ਪਰਮਿਟ ਆਈ ਐਮ ਗਿਵਿੰਗ ਯੂ ਦ ਆਪਰਚੁਨਿਟੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਕੰਮ ਕਰੋ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਕੁਆਲੀਫਾਈ ਐਂਡ ਬਿਕਮ ਅ ਪੀਆਰ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਹਾਈਲੀ ਕੰਟਰੋਡਿਕਟਰੀ ਆਫ ਕੋਰਸ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਕਾਲਡ ਡੂਅਲ ਇੰਟੈਂਟ ਇਹਦੇ ਬਾਰੇ ਕਈ ਲੋਕ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਕਈ ਸਵਾਲ ਪੁੱਛ ਚੁੱਕੇ ਵੀ ਹਾਊ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਕਿ ਵੀ ਅਸੀਂ ਐਸ ਓ ਪੀ ਚ ਕਹਾਣੀਆਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖਣੀਆਂ ਇਸ ਤਰ੍ਹਾਂ ਦੇ ਕੋਈ ਇਮੇਜਿਨੇਸ਼ਨ ਨਹੀਂ ਲਿਖਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਕਿਹਾ ਵੀ ਤੁਸੀਂ ਜੋ ਲਿਖਣਾ ਹੈ ਯੂ نو ਜਸਟ ਰਾਈਟ ਫਰਮ ਯਰ ਹਾਰਟ uh not something okay. i can coach you how to write sop but write from your heart whatever that is and uh, at the end of the day uh the law is very clear your intention is to study okay i will let you study you study here but at the same time follow the law don't overstay don't work more than 20 hours a week don't don't do anything outside the law and in time in process you will become a pr that's all we care about so and that's all it is it's the concept of dual intent so even though it looks contradictory it is not and i sometimes marvel on how how this story plays in different countries and different continents and kai baar the students ki matlab visitor bhi jehde aa rahe hain india to kisi country to aa rahe hain visitor bhi kehnde visitor assi jaate rahe visitor assi othe ja ke student bani ja rahe hain we are not going to come back and you know this is a highly uh, uh, you know it's a very very interesting part of life to see understand ki bhi assi sadi intention ki hai assi likh kuch ho rahe hain kar kuch ho rahe hain sarkar bhi dekh rahi hai sarkar bhi dekh rahi hai drama ka chal ki reha hai unna nu bhi pata hai lekin phir bhi keh rahe hain ki you apply as a student phir bhi assi tanu phir bhi student de kai refusal mainu aaye ja rahe hain roz i get so many refusals on a daily basis ki mera refuse ho gaya mera refuse ho gaya and i look at the refusal letter it's very simple that you will not come back ਕਰਨਾ i i can uh, i agree on this point that there is no one criteria which is being followed yeah. so there are 
multiple norms i think it's basically on luck whether you get a visa or not and one also one very important thing is sop which is the tool uh, we can use to you know uh, because we cannot go in front of visa officer it is a tool which you know you, you can use to speak about your feelings like why you want to come what is the purpose and uh, why you want to do that course so it is a tool which should be used properly sop is the only tool which shows that the intent of your uh, purpose what your purpose is to come to canada can you can you share can you share with me your secrets of the sop that you that you focused on what what is the what is the gist of the sop that you put in okay so one most important thing is to make your sop very concise it should not be too long that that the visa officer cannot read each and every you know sentence and then summarize it whether to give visa or not so it should be very concise one is this thing second is you should make ppt to show your road map how you started in one ppt it should cover each and every point that you have started your uh, school you did your schooling from this this board cbsc board icic board jo bhi board hai you should uh, you know mention your marks over there then uh, from where you did your graduation what you did in your graduation then if you have done post graduation mention that if you are into job mention that you are going to do this then you should make a ppt showing why you want to do that course what is the purpose behind doing that course so that visa officer get convinced yes this person wants to do this course because so that he can correlate that this ppt of purpose with the previous ppt which uh, we have already done so that he can correlate the relevancy and he can get the clear message yes this person is eligible or not so so that you know they are taking less time and he doesn't get frustrated looking into so documents and they you know approve our visa one last one last question on how how do you prove how did you prove uh, that uh, you have ties to the country of your residence okay that's a very tricky one so i was already working with my you know uh, a very renowned company it's in india genpak india private limited and uh, um i already had a conversation with my manager okay in case if i have to come back after my study will you give me the job uh, which i am doing right now so she apparently said me yes definitely i will give you the same job because of uh, the work you are doing right now and after studying from canada i will definitely give you a job so this is the thing i showed in my sop that yes i will get a job in my country when i am back so and so i proved it now i i want to change some things here i want to just change the scenario a little bit just to just to test out the situation what what if if you did not have a job offer or if you were not working how how else could you have uh, stated your ties to the country so uh, actually then if i would not have job my my husband is into business he has a wholesale garments business so that's a big thing you know that's a big thing for which i am doing a course supply chain management if you know my husband has a business and how i have to manage the supply and the demand both so i can you know correlate that if i later on i am looking after his business then i can show and prove that i am going to study this course only for my husband's business to grow his business to the uh, next level that's why i am doing this course this can also you know help me to Yeah. prove that the ties i have with my country i'm i'm tempted to ask you one more question if you may allow <laughs> uh, sure um since you applied alone you applied alone means not with your husband and and child uh what did you show in this first application that why is your husband and child not coming with you so there are uh, uh, what i did showed with them are not coming okay i didn't showed anything to them regarding this i i, I remember i didn't show to them anything but but you but you did say on the application 
that the husband and child is non accompanying yeah right okay. because and, uh, and and obviously and obviously now since you are in canada and many consultants in india and other places say ki bhi pehle aap chale jao aap chale jao uske baad mein reply bacche jo hai wo baaki log aayenge so how how do you feel that the husband and the child when they apply now how will their application be construed as will be looked at because earlier they were non accompanying and now suddenly hey but husband bhi ja raha hai bachche bhi ja rahe what do you what do you think how will they look at yeah definitely my child is completely dependent on me one thing is this um, they would definitely look at this point that the child cannot stay without mother so they can allow my child and yes um husband is also my family part of my family so he cannot also stay without me so if yeah they can look at this point also but but if you say the dependency if the child is dependent on you they cannot stay that was the same thing as when you were applying with the study visa anyway so since 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 you were coming on your own and you are here so the child is surviving anyway so how how did this dependency did not exist earlier and suddenly now the dependency is um, you know something that you want to show mm, yeah because uh, before separation we are not aware of the point that uh, how separation is actually going to you know be bared by the person in actual so the actualization is different than the you know the person when is imagining things that different aspect and when actual thing is going to happen that's a different scene so i i apologize i apologize if i'm giving you some tough questions and scenarios are we we do uh, uh, do a lot of interview practice if there's a interview in study visa or spouse visa we we prepare uh, uh, you know applicants for uh, mock scenarios in in the visa interview so i'm just just trying to give you hard time but i i appreciate your uh, your cooperation and your calmness in in responding to those difficult questions uh but hey uh today is your day i want you to uh take it easy go out and take some walk and you know uh just uh you know get a feel of canadian uh, life uh, and maybe if there's a ocean nearby you can take a walk on the beach and enjoy the fresh air and then uh, i hope to see you sometime soon uh if i come to halifax i have some other people who came to uh halifax recently i was I frankly I am in I'm very far from you I'm in Alberta I could not uh visit uh, any maritime province so far even though it's been 14 plus years I I have never been to that site but perhaps one day and if that they that yeah. that is I'll uh, you know come and see you and then uh, uh, one one of the things which I one of the things which I always uh, gives me great pleasure is because you are from New Delhi is my uh is my uh, hometown and i always uh, welcome delhi people uh, to canada with uh, with full uh, uh full you know open hearted welcome and uh, and let's step for it so right. thank you hey thank you very much and uh, hope to see you soon and um, i wish you best of luck for your future journey thank you very much right. take okay. care bye bye